What is up everybody, this is RF Mike. Today we are checking out the Spigen Glass TR Nano Slim Glass Screen Protector. This is made for the HTC One M8. And let's crack into it. Inside of our card of authenticity, squeegee, alcohol swab, microfiber rag, and of course the glass screen protector itself. All packaged, nice and neat. Alright, before install, the advantages of the Spigen one versus the ones that you buy at the store from your carrier is the RT models are actually rounded corners like it says rounded borders and they are thinner especially when it comes to the nanos the slims these are 0.2 millimeters thickness versus the store models are 0.4 millimeters so they're actually double the thickness but the Spigens protect just as well, and they are a hard surface rate number nine, which is the highest in hard surface rating. Real glass, delicate to touch, um, whole transparency, oleophobic coating, and like it shows inside, it's just like what we have right here. The glass screen protector itself, squeegee, alcohol swab, microfiber cloth, and certificate of authenticity. Uh, these mainly run, depending on what speed and glass screen protector you want, they can run from $20, $30, all the way up to $40. Bucks. Um, right now, the store-bought, the in-store, the carrier glass screen protectors, I think, are going on sale for $20. Normally, they run $30, so they are $10 cheaper than the Spigen's most of the time. But, like I said, they are thicker screen protectors. All right. And like I said, this is going on the HTC One M8. As you can see, my glass on my screen is in perfect shape still, but it doesn't hurt to have a little extra protection, especially if it's a glass screen protector and it's not going to wear down like a like a normal um, film screen protector would. All right, so I'm going to cut the video right here and install, and then we will pick right back up. All right, we are back. The Spigen glass screen protector is installed. And now it's time to look at the finishing product, final product. And as you can tell, actually you can almost can't tell, it is on here. Until we flip it this way. You can barely make out that curve, the rounded curve of the glass, how it just barely lifts off the surface of the phone. <laughs> it's actually really hard to get on camera. You may be able to tell by the shimmer of the light hitting the corners with the glass screen protector, but you can kind of make out that the corners are rounded on this and the edges are rounded, so there's no sharp parts. Next, I'll try to get my hands on a Verizon glass screen protector, which is 
the same glass screen protectors I'll sell at T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, just a generic kind. Um, they're all tempered glass screen protectors, just some are made better than others, and depending on hardness levels, oleophobic coatings, scratch resistance, drop resistant, but um, you basically, you do get what you pay for. Uh, when you buy Spigen, they are pretty well-known, high-end products. Um, so, yeah. So next, I will add on some clips, video clip, or pictures of this screen protector installed next to a um, off-the-shelf screen protector from your local uh, carrier retailer. And we are back with the Spigen Glass TR Nano Screen Protector for the HTC One M8. Like in my last video, I showed that it was done. And here it is again, complete. All right, and this time I did. Get my hand, you can barely see that curved edge there at the top of the speaker up here where the speaker would start and the glass stops. But yeah, you can see how just how thin that really is. So now, let's move this out of the way. So, yeah, here's the speaking one. Like I said, this goes for probably $35 up to $39 depending on what kind of glass screen protector you're looking for from Spigen. They offer privacy ones, the Nanos, the original, quite a few different versions. And like I said in the earlier video, I would try to, earlier part of the video, I would try to get my hands on a uh, tempered glass screen protector through your local uh, carrier, depending on who your carrier is. And I did go to Verizon today, and I was able to pick up just a like it says here, tempered glass screen protector for the all-new HTC One M8 for Windows. It's still the same M8, it just has the Windows operating system on it instead of the uh, Android. But yeah, this is how they're packaging them through Verizon. I know that uh, some the other carriers, I don't know how many other carriers have the M8, the Windows model yet, so they would probably have a different type of packaging. But like it shows on here, it is a tempered glass screen protector, display wipe, and comes with a dust removal sticker. And that's pretty much it. That's all the detail they give you on these uh, tempered glass ones that you get through your retailer. Sure, you're paying a cheaper price, like $24, bucks, $30, all depending on the size of your phone. You know, the glass is going to vary. Um, but as you can see, with the speaking ones, you get a better looking casing. You also get more stuff inside the packaging. Uh, you actually get a wiping cloth. You get the squeegee for help applying and you get your authenticity and your um, alcohol rub wipe and inside what you would get from your local retailer depending on your carrier uh, let's see here inside it unfolds and I'm not seeing any of the stickers or anything that it talked about. It's probably all inside here. It tells you how to install it. I've done enough of these glass screen protectors. I should probably take a moment to say I've done enough of these glass screen protectors on family members' phones because everybody in my family mem fam side of the family and my wife's side of the family all has, most of them all have Android smartphones or some type of smartphone, whether it's Android or iOS. And I've applied enough of these screen protectors to devices where I've kind of mastered these, gotten these down pretty well. Um, my biggest one I've ever done has been on a uh, iPad. I've done a 10-inch speaking glass screen protector. And then, uh, obviously, I've done some smaller ones. Okay, so one thing you notice right away, you're definitely getting much less material for the cost. Uh, much extra, less extra stuff for helping with install. You can see here you only get two dust removal stickers and then uh, your wipe versus the wipe that came in the... Uh, Speaking one, it's definitely a much bigger microfiber cloth. Um, it definitely feels a lot better. Uh, Speaking's always put nice microfiber cloths for rubbing out your display, even if you want to keep it in your pocket and save it for cleaning your display after you take a phone call or whatever. 
They've always come out pretty nice. Um, but let's get to the screen protector because that's what we're comparing really is what you get at your carrier glass, temper glass screen protector compared to a Spigen. And yeah, you can see this is definitely way thicker looking just by looking at it. It doesn't have as much flexibility as a Spigen one would. Um, and yeah, I didn't show how I put all this together, put it on. Uh, it's kind of, I don't have all the right equipment for doing a video that way. But just to show off here, move this stuff out of the way, get that out of our zoom. to show it here so that is the glass screen protector from Verizon and you can see the thickness there this is a 0.4 millimeter thickness versus the speaking is a 0.2 millimeter so you can see the edge here where the screen protector is the glass screen protector now if we were to set this right beside you can see just how much how much more raised up this would be and how much thicker and I was able to get in really close, which I'm on a fixed zoom here. Yeah, probably not be able to make it out either. But yeah, it's gonna be hard to tell. But even if I set these side by one on top of the other. You can see they're not staying because it's glass sliding on glass. Um, just to show you the difference in clarity here, move that out of the way. We'll peel off the back and the front, and that's your clarity of glass that you'd have next to a Spigen. So you can actually kind of see a difference there. It would definitely be a little more noticeable on one of these. Uh, these store-bought ones versus ordering from Spigen or getting off am getting a Spigen screen protector off Amazon. Um, another thing to show you, like I was saying earlier, these have sharp corners. Use the phone here. These are a sharp corner on these. They are not a um, rounded or curved. They are not a chamfered or a, a bezeled edge. You can see they're just straight, sharp corners versus what I've been able to show in the pictures here of the Spigen. Um, so basically that concludes the video. I, mean, I myself like Spigen's glass screen protectors. I've used, put these on many phones for many family members. Uh, this is the first one I've actually put on one of my phones. Um, I've done phone, the Galaxy S5 uh, Spigen glass screen protectors for family members that have gotten the GS5. Um, I just, I mean, the warranty on these ones from the stores, I think, is still a one-year warranty, and they're they're scratch resistant. But uh, like on the packaging, it shows here for the for your store-bought screen protector, glass screen protector, tempered glass, uh, sold separately, 30-day warranty. That's all you have is just 30 days. Uh, if it has an issue after that, you're kind of SOL if it actually scratches. Um, online, when you look up these uh, tempered glass screen protectors from uh, your carrier, they say they're scratch resistant. Uh, they don't even give you a hardness rating versus you look at the Spigen's glass screen protectors. So you can get this to zoom in. Maybe not. There we go. Whole transparency, perfect adhesive, a surface hardness of 9H, which is the hardest surface hardness you can get. That would be like taking uh, sandpaper to this glass this glass screen protector, and if it it might barely not even leave a nick with a, a very rough sandpaper. Uh, just being in your pocket and being around coins and all that, it's not even going to affect it. You can look up other videos on YouTube about that. Uh, this does have the oleophobic coating which on these uh, standard ones that you get from the store, they say they're finger, finger proof, 
fingerprint resistant. So, yeah, delicate to the touch. Um, some people I've put these screen protectors on for, these glass ones, have said their touch has actually improved greatly because it's the adhesive that they are using to adhere the glass screen protector to the phone is very nice. Look up videos on how these are installed and you'll just, like the adhesive will start in the middle and just expand out. You just see the whole thing turn just pure black because it's adhering right to the, your glass display. Um, yeah, so they're, they're good. And that's about all I'm going to say for this video. I know it's been kind of a long one. It's been chopped up in pieces. Um, but also with Spigens, let's see if it will show it on here. I don't know if it does. If you look up on their website, they actually do have uh, one year, I believe it is a one year manufacturer warranty on these. Mm -hmm. Our certificate of authenticity, that's original product. And it's not a duplicate or a copy of, of speaking. Installation, and of course, in all different languages. All right, well, that is going to be about it for this overview on the speed and screen protectors. Um, if I can get some nano pictures or get some type of good shots of the stock of the speed and screen protector here next to a, a tempered glass that's just from your carrier, I will try to get some really, really close shots to add into this video. Uh, that'll be it. Thank you for checking out my YouTube video, and hope everyone has a great day.